Hello, buddy. Welcome back to the Tin Man's Corner channel. I'm your host, Jeffrey Tin Man Taylor, and today I'll be painting another blank mask, and it's going to be in like a Mardi Gras theme. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why am I wearing a mask for this video? Well, I noticed every time I do a mask for you, I'm not wearing my personal mask. So, I thought I'd do it for this video. Now, you're not going to see me wearing it when I'm painting because I had the camera tilt down, of course. But anyway, I just wanted to throw it back on. It's been a while since I've been wearing this. But anyway, enough about that. So, I'm going to move the camera around so you can see what I'm doing. And we'll get into it then. Alright? Alright. I'm going to paint this mask with traditional Mardi Gras colors like purple, gold, and green. But I think around the eyes, I was thinking about doing red right here and here. And then maybe some blue on the tip of the nose right there. So I'm going to get started with the uh, purple first. And I'm going to use this, um, what's this one called? Uh, light Violet. It's the darkest purple I've got in here, in this kit. So, let me move these out of the way and then um, let's get to it, shall we? So, I'm going to start right here in the corner. Oh. <laughs> Wrong tip. I was using the chisel tip anyway. Alright, there's that. I'm going to continue the pattern on this face. And then I'll go with the other colors, green and gold as well. Okay? So, I'll get back with you on that. So, yeah, right here. So, purple, and then I think I'll go purple right here. And the big diamond, so I have different colors in it. Okay? Before I continue on, I almost forgot there ain't no rule in painting a Mardi Gras mask. You just do whatever you want. I'm just going with the traditional Mardi Gras colors of mine, but uh, I seen one that was like a um, just a face mask over the nose right here. And it was like gold, blue, and a little bit of purple and some pink. Like you could just do whatever you want. Diamond patterns or sometimes just standard straight lines with or swirls with different colors. So it's all up to you and your own imagination. <laughs> so this is what I've done so far. I colored in the big diamond too because it's going by the pattern. So I want to keep on going and uh, I'm going to see where I end up when I get to the middle face part right here and then the chin and everything. So i got to fill this little triangle up purple. This one was almost confusing as my uh, Checker Two-Face mask, if you guys remember that one. It's got that buffalo plaid pattern on it. I kind of messed up on the side. Well, this one is going to be more like a Mardi Gras theme and don't have to be perfect. Even though some masks look like they got perfect angled diamonds and all that stuff on them. So... I'm going to keep on the trucking, and hopefully when you guys return, <laughs> I'll have all the purple work done on here, so I'll get back with you in a little bit on that. Alright folks, oh. <laughs> I'm taking a break on some of the purple areas, but see, look, I got it around the chin area, so I'm going to stop on the purple for now. Now the next color I'm going to do is... Uh, Gold. And let me see, I think I got a gold marker in here somewhere. Oh yeah, here we go. Gold. Now some people, you could probably use like plain yellow to represent gold, but I'm going with actual gold so it'll be darker. And I'll show you what it 
looks like when I get done painting this triangle. See? Looks like that. Now, I'm going to continue the same process in the pattern here. And then I'll show you what <laughs> it looks like when I get done with all the gold diamonds and triangles and stuff on here. And I switched over to the chisel tip this time so I can get this thing a lot, uh, done quicker. Now if I need to, I'll use the pen tip and fill in all the edges that I missed. Alright. As you see, I got some of the gold areas highlighted. Now I'm going to get started on the green. And for that, I'm going to use this color called Vivian Green. I thought it had more of a Mardi Gras type of green color to it. So I said I'd rather use this than another shade of green. So, oh yeah. Almost looks like a lime green, but you never know what people wear at Mardi Gras nowadays. <laughs> that shade of green right there. Okay, so I'm going to continue on that pattern with that. And you know what? I was just thinking about it too. I said if I get to where I get into the center of the face. I might even add some other colors to it, but I'm not going to rush myself on that yet. So I'm going to see what I can do here first. And uh, I'll get back with you for that thought. But if, if you guys have any uh, suggestions of more masks that you think I could paint, like other ideas I could paint on these masks, let me know down in the comments, please. I'll be happy to do it if I can. I can't wait for Halloween to come back because, uh, you know, Walmart is always stockpile full of these things sometimes. Sometimes I don't get lucky and other people buy them first. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I got to stockpile them again. I'm only got three left, but I got an idea for those. I'm going to give them as a gift for somebody else. I'll, I'll tell you guys in a short when I paint them, so I'll let you know. Alright, <laughs> now I got the green in there, so you kind of get the idea, or general idea of what I'm going with here. And I even got the bottom of the chin right here. So, I, I don't know if I'm going to continue with the purple gold and green color scheme that's on the edges of the mask. I'm going to Take a break and uh, think about that, and then I'll come back with an answer for you. So hold on. <clears throat> All right. I had to consult with my uh, daddy about this, but uh, I, I was asking him, should I continue coloring the mask in with these colors, or should I start with something else with different colors? So I said about this option of coloring the eyes red and the nose part blue. So I'm, I picked these two colors out right here. I'm going to start with the eyes first and get them colored up. i got to be careful on that because I do not want to mess it up. And I'm using deep red for the eyes. And I already picked out a cool name for this project, or this mask, so I'll tell you at the end, so stay tuned. Okay, so you see where I'm going at, right? I'm going to color in the other eye, and I'll tell you guys about the next step. So hold on tightly. Look at that. Got done with the eyes. Now, I incorporated the red into, like, near the diamond pattern over here, but it's okay. Uh, it's My vision was kind of like, you know, taking a bunch of Mardi Gras masks and kind of fusing them together. So that's what the whole mindset behind this was. So I'm sticking with that. It almost like kind of reminded me of my uh, psychedelic stained glass hockey mask I painted. Kind of, you know, like glass kind of 
chipped away and trying to glue them back together in different pieces. That's where I was getting this inspiration from, but kind of. But anyway, now I'm going to use this uh, baby blue. I'm coloring the nose, like on the bottom part of the nose. It's almost like when you throw a mask into a paint machine and it just goes haywire and then this is what you get, kind of a rainbow explosion. <laughs> There you go. Kind of looks like the nose of Jack Frost a little bit. <laughs> All right. Now what? <laughs> All right. I didn't know if I can go ahead and continue with the purple and gold and green colors or just continue with the blue and red colors on this mask. But, uh, hmm. I'll tell you what, I might do that, go with uh, like the blue and red on the outside right here and then keep going with the purple and other colors in the middle. Like I said, a fusion of different masks together, so let's do that. Alrighty, I think I'll go with uh, this baby blue first. And I'll color in. You know what? I'm just looking at it now. I said I might add black in it <laughs> in some areas, but it's like my mask. I could do whatever I want to with it, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm going to color this diamond baby blue. Like that. You see right there? And I'm going to go right here on top of the eye and paint that blue as well. And it'll fuse kind of together with the red. <laughs> uh, like that. So I'm going to continue with this color train right here. And I'll get back to you when I get done coloring all the light blue parts that I can. I went ahead and added some black paint in there as well. But, uh, I'm starting to see it come together, folks. Hope you guys see my concept too, trying to go different colors, like going in center. And then when we get to the center part of the face, I'll go back with the gold, purple, and green colors. But now, I was thinking about uh, this diamond part right here and right here. I was thinking adding more red right there just to make it look like, um, kind of like a jester mime look. So I said, yeah, I better do that before I forget. And when you guys paint your own Mardi Gras style mask, be creative. And plus you never know what you what the outcome will be. You know, you create it. Vision it in your head first. Like I'm doing. Like at first I was going to just stick with just purple, gold, and green. But then I said, wait a minute. This is my creation. I think I should add black and red and some other colors. But here, see what I mean? I draw the red line down right I'm going to do the same thing on that eye. And I'll get back to you when I start working on the inner part of the face. Alright, folks. What do you guys think? Black. Green, purple, blue, red. It's all starting to come together. Now, all right, I think I'm going to stop using the blue and the uh, black. I'm going to go back with the green, gold, and other colors. So, when I get done with that, I'll show you the finished product. So, what do you guys think? <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't film all of it, but it was a lot of intricate painting and detail work, but... I think I'm calling this one uh, Fragmented uh, Mardi Gras or Mardi Gras Fragments. <laughs> you know, they're just combining the different colors of Mardi Gras and putting them together in one mask or 
like if a bunch of Mardi Gras masks broke and you could just glue pieces back together. You know, that, that was the concept right there. It actually came out looking pretty good. It almost looks like I'm bleeding purple <laughs> right there. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry it's so long, but uh, don't forget to like, subscribe for more mask painting content like this. And let me know down in the comments, like I said earlier, uh, is there a particular style you want me to paint or anything? Let me know down in the comments, all right? Have a nice day, buddy.